Hey guys, today I have a tutorial on how to add strobe lights to your uh, model, in my case my Typhoon H, but it, the technique can be used for any kind of model, as long as uh, it includes a battery, so, strobe lights, that's two of them, you can hook them up directly to, uh, to a battery via this, uh, this lead, which I won't do because I will add a switch in between so I can switch them on or off whether uh, I want to light them up or not and the main reason I'm doing this because uh, the Typhoon H can go pretty far and you can lose uh, sight of it while you're up in the air so that's why I uh, want to keep track of it at all times since the laws are changing now here in Europe um, there's already the line of sight rule but the legislation is getting a bit harsher now so that's why I uh, want to add some strobe lights to make sure that I can always see it line of sight so what you'll need is the strobe lights of course one switch solder and a soldering iron a very sharp exacto blade a two millimeter uh, allen key and a one and a half millimeter allen key some heat shrink wire cutters and a screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver. So let's get to it. Oh yeah, one thing before I forget what else you need. A Typhoon H. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the whole thing apart and then add the strobes to the bottom of the frame. So I'll probably try and add them here and here, but I'll just have to wait and see how much room I have on the inside. So uh, first I'll take the thing apart and then I'll start mounting the strobes. So let's make some room. First thing we do is take off the landing gear. Two millimeter Allen key is used to uh, take off the screws. Now when you remove this, always be careful because the antennas that go inside of the uh, frame are very fragile. So if you rotate it back, flip them forward, and usually I'll just hook them under here. Use some tape to keep them stuck in place, but it should be fine. Just hold it down for now, wiggle the gear and it will come out easily. Other side. All right, I took off the top cover. It's easy, just install it with one plug. The bottom cover is uh, actually the same thing. You just take it off, simple enough. Now to find a space uh, to fit these is quite difficult because they have this huge um, capacitor. So what I have decided is to mount them externally. So the wiring will go in through the frame. So all you have to do is drill two little holes on the frame and you can just mount them here on the side or on the bottom whichever you like so uh, that's what I'll do right now so I'll modify the bottom of the frame to install them put the H aside so drilling your holes is of course very easy just look where to go for a hole and that's just in this your corner one little hole down and the second one should probably go on the side of this grill part yeah so I'll go right here
Oh yeah, forgot to mention. This will void your warranty. So now that we have our holes finished, we can start adding the lights. Of course, this won't fit through, so what we'll do, snip them off. Install them one. It's a good fit. So, got some hot glue. That's what I'm talking about. Place it down, hold it for a bit. Now for number two, glue it on. Make sure it's not blocking the USB port. And just hold that one down as well. Now we have to get these wires through the inside to end up where we want to put our switch. Let's just put it on the side here this side. That should do the trick. Okay, we got to drill two holes for the wires to fit through. This time I'm making it a bit of a smaller hole. So with this guy, you gotta snip off at least the plugs because I'm not gonna use these plugs anyway. There we go. Now one side is where the wires come out of, so I'll keep that as close to the body of the edge as possible. So this one goes in here. And the other one goes in here. Get some glue. Not too much. I don't want to smear the whole thing with hot glue. Here we go. Now, this one's going to be connected to the power side. Yeah, that'll easily reach it. These two should go back to this distributor board. And then these two should get to this side of the wire. So, let's see. We grab the H. It's going to be this side. Well, here's a lot of room, so I can stick it down here. So, next thing I'll do is uh, decide the lengths of wire that I need. Because this is all too long. This will be a rat's nest if I leave it like this, and I don't want that. So, this can be a short wire to the power side. And this is the power side, of course, so I'm just 
just cut this one down to a desired length. Not too short because I can solder it when I'm when they're too short. So soldering time. I always use some simple flux for for drain pipes or for uh, water pipes. I mean. Works just fine. Get out now. Soldering tin. It's done. Now for this one, first I'll get some uh, heat shrink to go around it. Wait a minute, let me clean this up. Still got some flex on the wires here. Red for plus. And black for ground. Go. These can be short. No, let's get these pretend. I need to drop a flux on there. Get some. go tug to see if they're strong they are so then I'll add the heat shrink this side as well Yep, that's what that's good. Now I should get my strobes. Of course, a little bit of excess wire is not bad, but don't make them too long, so cut them down. So now we'll add the heat shrink to both sides. Pre tin again. Oh, finally my printer is done. So now we have some peace and quiet. Oh, let me get my open hands in here because. This is going to be a bit more tricky. And that side's done. Now for the other side, this one has to go all the way around. No, strip this one.
that's my wiring done except for this lead that I'll have to attach to the Typhoon H power supply. Okay, so everything's connected. Uh, all I have to do is connect this lead to the power side of the Typhoon H mainboard. So what I will do is add a connector because that makes it easier if you want to remove uh, the casing, of course. Then you'll have to unsolder these. So I'll just add in this connector and it makes it a lot easier to remove when I have to do maintenance or anything on the Typhoon.